Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about the natural prevention and treatment of diabetes, a disease that more than 422 million people worldwide now suffer from. Diabetic disorders are divided into two main types, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes occurs when the body's immune system destroys specific cells in the pancreas, the organ that produces the vital hormone insulin. The primary cause of type 2 diabetes, which mostly occurs in adults, has been shown through Dr. Ra's cellular medicine research to be a chronic deficiency of certain micronutrients in the cells of not just the pancreas, but also in the blood vessel walls, the liver and other organs of the body. 90% of diabetic patients have type 2 diabetes. Now this is a type I will mainly focus on in this video. However, the natural treatment for both types of diabetes is similar. Diabetes is characterized by elevated levels of blood glucose. In healthy people, the pancreas produces a hormone insulin, which it releases in response to increased levels of glucose in the blood. Glucose levels rise whenever you eat, for example. The presence of insulin in the blood acts as a signal for cells to take in the glucose, which is used in the production of energy. However, in type 2 diabetes, the body does not make or does not use insulin very well. This results in high levels of glucose building up in the blood. Over time, it can result in serious problems, including damage to the cardiovascular system, eyes, kidneys, nervous system, limbs and feet. Common symptoms of diabetes include tiredness, extreme thirst, an increased need to urinate, cuts and bruises that are slow to heal and an increased risk of infections. Many people do not always notice these symptoms and even ignore them. Patients sometimes live with them for years before being diagnosed, but this can be very dangerous to health. An interesting scientific fact about diabetes is that the molecular structures of vitamin C and glucose are actually very similar. As we shall see next, this similarity can lead to a type of metabolic confusion that has severe consequences. The confusion arises from the fact that glucose and vitamin C compete with each other to enter the body's cells. When there is a high concentration of glucose in the blood, the tiny specialized biological pumps in the cells that suck in vitamin C and glucose from the bloodstream become overloaded. As a result, cells in the blood vessel walls contain an excess of glucose and an insufficient amount of vitamin C. Because of the lack of vitamin C, atherosclerotic deposits build up in the blood vessel walls. This can lead to heart attacks, strokes and other serious problems. To lower elevated levels of glucose in the blood, conventional medicine prescribes insulin and synthetic chemical drugs. Nevertheless, even with these medications, cardiovascular disease and other diabetic complications can still occur. Clearly, therefore, while lowering blood glucose levels is obviously very important, it only treats one aspect of the problem. To successfully prevent and control type 2 diabetes, consuming less salt, eating a healthy diet, low in sugar and refined carbohydrates, drinking plenty of fresh, glass bottled still water, and taking plenty of exercise can all certainly help. But for optimum results, addressing the primary cause, micronutrient deficiency, is absolutely essential. Dr. Ra's scientific research and numerous independent clinical studies have clearly documented the important roles of vitamin C, vitamin E, B vitamins, magnesium and chromium in helping to prevent diabetes and normalize blood sugar levels. In one fascinating example, a study published in 1937 showed that diabetic patients taking 300 to 500 milligrams of vitamin C a day could significantly improve their glucose balance. The researchers found that blood sugar levels could be lowered by an average of 30%, daily insulin requirements by 27%, and that the sugar excretion in the urine could be almost eliminated. You can learn more about such studies in Chapter 7 of Dr. Rath's book Why Animals Don't Get Heart Attacks, But People Do. Through carefully following the cellular medicine recommendations contained in this book, not only is it possible to prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes, existing diabetic conditions and their complication can successfully be controlled. If you have any questions about the use of Dr. Rath's cellular medicine approach, for preventing and controlling diabetes, please feel free to contact us.